as I said when I read the Archbishop's letter at St. Francis, don't shoot the messenger, please. <laughs> I know word is out all across town, but I'm going to read the official letter from Archbishop Blair. Dear parishioners of the parish of St. Margaret Mary, I am writing about the results of the pastoral planning process that has been the focus of much attention in recent months. Every effort is being made to ensure that parishioners first hear the results from me at Mass this weekend, not from the media or other source. You will remember that after much preparation, the pastoral planning process was inaugurated last year with an archdiocesan-wide survey and with a mailing entitled Stewards for Tomorrow and that went sent to every registered household. Although change is usually difficult and often painful, the Church on Earth, as the Second Vatican Council taught, is a pilgrim people. We, here we have no lasting home, but are on the way to a heavenly city. Along the way, we constantly experience change as we die and rise with Jesus every day. There is no denying that there have been tremendous changes in our Catholic population over the last century. We have, no, we have to ask whether what we have from the past is still the best way to address the need for worship, education, and service by and for the Catholic people within the various localities of the archdiocese. Thanks to criteria that have been thoughtfully developed, I believe that we have a sound and principled plan for reinvigorating our collective mission, one that ensures greater stability for both parishes and pastors over the next several years. As you are aware, after a lengthy and prayerful period of consultation, discussion, and research involving both clergy and lay leadership, excuse me, <coughs> a determination was made that St. Margaret Mary of South Windsor will merge with St. Francis of Assisi of South Windsor, effective on March 31, 2017. So that has already taken place. The canonical document of these changes has been posted for all to see and is also accessible on the Archdiocesan Pastoral Planning website, stewardsfortomorrow.org. The Archdiocese will be providing personnel and guidance to make the merger successful. Finally, and very importantly, effectively, effective June 29th, I have appointed Father David Baranowski to be the pastor of the newly created St. Junipero Serra Parish. Much has been said about the shortage of priests. There is certainly, this is certainly a significant factor, but by no means the only one in pastoral planning. I earnestly encourage you to work and pray that more men whom God is calling to the priesthood will step forward and heed that call. Remember what Jesus said during his earthly ministry. The harvest is great, the laborers few. Pray the harvest master to send laborers into his harvest. It seems to me that today's announcements are not so much an end, but only the first step in preparing ourselves to face the future with courage, faith, and hope. It is urgently necessary <clears throat> that, that to these we now add love without which, as St. Paul says, we are nothing at all. Whatever your parish, we are all members of one Catholic family of faith, and we need to reach out in welcome to those whose parishes are merging or closing. I am confident that those of you who are hearing this letter will go out of your way to be good neighbors and friends to your fellow Catholics at a time of change. If we look closely at the long history of the Church, including the history of our own archdiocese, we will find many outstanding individuals and communities who were unafraid to face the difficult challenges of their day. Please join me in praying that you and I will also be remembered as people of faith, courage, and vision at the beginning of the 21st century. Sincerely yours in Christ, Most Reverend Leonard P. Blair, Archbishop of Hartford. And so what this means now, because I know people have lots of questions, uh, is that this church building remains St. Margaret Mary Church. St. Francis of Assisi remains St. Francis of Assisi Church. 
There will be masses and sacraments celebrated at both churches, but our common merged parish is now, will now be named St. Junipero Serra Parish. Uh, and some people ask, who was St. Junipero Serra? Uh, he was a Franciscan, Spanish Franciscan missionary priest who was just canonized a couple of years ago. And he is largely responsible for the mission system in California, the, mission, the old missions, now Mission Road. Uh, if anybody's ever been down that road, you don't see all the old Spanish missions. He founded several of them. And as a matter of fact, he's considered so important in our American history that he is the only Catholic priest or religious to have a statue of himself in the rotunda of the U.S. Capitol. Uh, so uh, it's a very, very important uh, saint, and uh, it, it's a, a wonderful. Uh, he's also, also all of the vocation clubs in all the dioceses in the United States are named after him, Sarah Clubs. You may have heard that term. So that's who he is. Father David Baranowski is presently pastor of St. James Rocky Hill. Some of you may, have, may remember him as an assistant at St. James in Manchester back in the 1980s. Okay, so he's now, he was head of the Office of Worship for the Archdiocese for quite a while. Not now, but he was, okay? Um, he taught me liturgy and sacraments in the deacon program. Uh, and he's, he's a very, uh, very um, uh, smart man, very intelligent, and liturgy is his thing. So uh, I think you will enjoy him.